Tampering may have been involved in the Lonzo Ball and Kyle Lowry trades, so the NBA is conducting a full investigation. Here's the latest news. Hi guys, I'm Devin Howard. If you want to follow me on Instagram, you can find me there as at Devin Howard. Double check that you've subscribed to the Fubble, tap the bell for notifications, and don't forget to hit the thumbs up button. The NBA is looking into whether any tampering took place during two big trades that went down during the offseason. Both Kyle Lowry and Lonzo Ball were sent to new teams on sign and trade deals. But according to Woj, there may have been some early contact made prior to free agency opening at 6 p.m. Eastern Time on August 2nd. Woj tweeted that the NBA is expected to examine early contact on those deals ahead of free agency. The Bulls and the Pelicans might have a little bit of a tough time refuting those claims. Since Lonzo was involved in a four-year $85 million deal with the Bulls moments after free agency opened and the fact that other players were involved will make it difficult for the Bulls to claim they hadn't made contact prior to the free agency period. In Kyle Lowry's situation, there were rumors swirling that this was a move the teams were going to make, so obviously that will fuel the NBA's belief that they did tamper. There are several rules to prevent tampering in place and the repercussions can actually be pretty severe. Punishments can range from a fine to a loss of a draft pick to the contracts being voided. While none of these options are pleasant, it would be terrible for anyone involved in these deals to have the contract voided and equally bad for the teams to lose a draft pick. Voiding a contract is obviously an extreme reaction and it would really take the NBA a lot to get there. Woj tweeted that the league did elevate maximum tampering fines to $10 million two years ago. They also opened the door for suspension of executives and again forfeiture of draft picks and voiding of contracts. And in order to keep track of tampering, team executives can sometimes have to submit all of their communications like text, emails, and phone calls to the league for random audits. The tampering rules are very flimsy. I know the league wants to make trades fair for everyone involved, but they also sometimes crack down on things coaches or players say during interviews or in tweets that don't really qualify as true tampering. Whatever the case is, I'm happy for Lonzo and Kyle, and I hope that neither of them feel the repercussions of the NBA's investigation. What do you guys think? Was there tampering involved? Do you think they deserve to be punished? Let me know in the comments below. Don't forget to subscribe and tap the bell. I'm Devin Howard for The Fumble, and I'll see you guys later.